Well, uh, today I've returned to back to the Denawi Quarry. Um, I'm not coming here to do any landscapes, big landscapes. Uh, what I have planned, uh, because it's a beautiful day, uh, it's hot, got lovely light. I'm just looking for intimate things like, uh, probably gonna walk right to the tops, to the Australia level and look at the old machinery. Probably photograph bits of machinery, something completely different today. Uh, I haven't come here with the intention of shooting any landscapes at all, so yeah, the subject today is intimate photography, uh, close-ups on, it can be anything like bolts, machinery, whatever catches my eye, so yeah, but before all that, I'm going to have to climb that horrible path that's going to completely knacker me out, um, there's a lot of people here today, uh, the park, the car park on the roundabout was chocker. I've never seen it that full. So I'm just hoping that nobody's gonna come down that path when I'm going up it, because I'll look a bloody mess. Yeah. But I'm gonna take my time uh, getting up there. So I'll see you at the top. So uh, I've managed to uh, scramble down here. Uh, I'm really thought about getting up, but yeah, finally got here. Uh, looks fantastic from here. You've got all this dead wood sticking out. Uh, there's a nice greenish colour on the lake, lake, the uh, sink, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've got an ISO 100 F9 on this um, and I'm at a hundredth of a second. I'll probably head down the bottom here and try and find a couple of different angles on this but I'm here and I've got the shot so superb. I'll take a few in there while I'm down here because I'm probably not going to scramble here again. Just had to wander around here. Um, there's a hell of a lot of people walking around today. They're everywhere. Uh, Whatever I'm trying to get a shot, somebody just comes out of some corner somewhere. Uh, never really seen it this busy. So yeah, I've seen a composition here of that hut uh, on the far end and that pulley that goes down the mountain. But what I've included is these sort of uh, kind of rocks on the side here where the light's hitting now i think that'll make a nice interesting black and white shot i think so yeah i'm going at f16 uh at an eighth of a second on this i'm going to bracket on this because the bits of dark pack patches everywhere but i think it'll make a nice black and white image and what i'm going to do um it's just wait here and see what happens with the light hitting the rocks. Um, it's lighting that end up now as well, so. Right. 
Right, with this, I was thinking of a... Um, I did try a, um, a portrait uh, on this one, but I think, no, I went for a landscape shot instead to include this rock here, which has bits of green mossy colours on it. Um, and what I like about this is you've got the green grass in here and uh, you get a different shade of grey right in the background. If you're thinking of black and white, it's always good to look at this as black and white so then you see the different shades of blacks and greys that you're getting in the rock. Um, you've got all this rubble here. You've got this iron bars here, which are a rusty red colour. Uh, bits of green moss everywhere. Um, I don't know. It's just looking at something different in it. So yeah, I've gone with a uh, landscape shot on this like that. Uh, at the moment, I'm thinking black and white, but you never know. It might come out good in colour. Who knows? Depends on the colour. So yeah, I've uh, gone with landscape shot on this one. So this building is uh, known as the Kapan. Um, this is where the uh, quarrymen would uh, come and eat their food every day. It was a place of meeting. Uh, you know, they wrote stories, poems, Estedward, everything really, a lot took place here. On the wall here is what's left of the quarrymen's old coats and all these shoes here, old boots. And I think what would be good today is just to get a shot of them old boots there in the corner there. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. It's a shame everybody's just come here and wrecked the place as like a camping place, you can see. You know, it's like a, they've turned it into a bothy or something and uh, it'd be all right if they cleaned the place. There's shit everywhere, it's just rubbish, just left here. It's a shame. Right, so uh, what I've done with this one is gone at a landscape. Um, I've come high up because the subject here is this um, iron reddish colour uh, thing, whatever it is. I'm sure it's part of an old railway line, not too sure. But what I like is that. Uh, I like this hut here. It's got nice light shining on it. You've got these steps going up here and all the green moss uh, right there on it. So. Uh, yeah, I think this will be an interesting shot uh, with this. Just give me settings with this. I've got an F9. Uh, I haven't got too much in the foreground. Uh, ISO 100 and 1 60th of a second. And uh, I'm bracketing one each end on this one.
look at this uh what i come across this composition here is this wall acts like a lead in line to this tree that's just sticking out on the side here with the nice green colors on it uh what i like is the sun's actually highlighting the green on it uh here you've got an old shed and these big rock faces here with some old bits of piping leading down there so yeah i'm going to set up here uh i think it looks interesting the tree is the subject here i'm going to use this leading line this wall as a leading line to the tree and it takes you out to the hut here and these jagged rock faces on the side here With this composition, I've uh, gone in the portrait. Um, I'm, I've gone at F9, ISO 100 at a hundredth of a second. I'm going to bracket on this one uh, because the foreground here is in shade. And uh, I just want to kind of balance the image out. So yeah, not sure whether this is going to be colour or black and white, but we'll see in post what happens with this. So uh, this shed here at the top, uh, this is uh, the compressor room. So yeah, uh, as you can see, there's big machinery and these used to be some sort of workshops here. Um, I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking instantly, uh, there's a lot of light coming in, reflection on the walls. Pretty, pretty similar to what I did last time in one of the sawing sheds where the light was coming. I think I can do it with this. Uh, you've got holes in the wall here like that. Just from here, you can just see a lake down there. You've got the mountain sides, it's a bit hazy, but by bracketing, I think I can put a balance to it. It'll look pretty good. So I'm gonna set up here and uh, give this a go. Right, with this I've had to come uh, quite far back here. Um, so what I've got in the composition is the uh, concrete base square here. You've got a wooden thing which looks like a hook but it's not as the foreground here. Uh, I've included the gap in the wall with the mountains that you can see out there and that. And yeah, so I've got the whole compressor in the shot. Um, at the moment, I'm kind of thinking of black and white, but I don't know. Probably will be. Um, so, I'm at F9 with this. Uh, ISO 100 at a fifth of a second. I'm going to bracket to each end on this because of the uh, dark patches are everywhere and the, that end's so bright without there. So, yeah, bracketing to each end on this one.
Right, before I do anything, I'm just going to refuel. Ah, it's been an amazing day today. Uh, really warm. Um, last night, I went out to do a vlog um, in Dolwydelan. Uh, there's a castle over there. Uh, I drove there, got there about half past six, uh, saw a sign that said closed and you had to pay. Uh, I assumed that you could just walk up to this castle anyway. And they started walking up there anyway and the guy there said, sorry, but the castle's closed. So uh, I was well pissed off. Uh, I drove all the way there. And by the time I was trying to decide to go back through Better's Accord, down to Beth Gellert that way, the light had just gone. Uh, by the time I thought, I'll get out here and do a composition uh, by Chin Gwynant, uh, I just lost all the light, so I was fed up. So yeah, so I thought today, um, I just thought, you know what, I'll go up the quarry, uh, it's good exercise, good on my legs, uh, and just do something more with the machinery here, rather than the big, you know, landscapes. So yeah, so this is my last bit of today. Uh, I like the uh, light on these machines and the sort of wheels. They sort of create a line going down the shed there. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna set up for a composition here and see how the, that goes. So with this, the idea with this, uh, I just like these wheels you know, like a leading line going down the uh, shed there. You've got the uh, different gaps in the wall here. Each section is spilling in some nice light. You've got this rugged old pathway here, and another leading line, which sort of uh, takes you to the end over there. And uh, like I've done before, the roof has so many different sorts of lines and all that. So it's quite interesting. Uh, good. something like this you're going to have to bracket because of the uh, different shades in here and the amount of light that's coming through the top there's quite a lot so yeah I'm um, going to try two shots on this uh, one landscape looking down and a portrait and uh, see how that goes So uh, that's it, another vlog from Dinawi Quarry. Um, I just love coming up here, uh, especially when it's in warm weather. It's just a beautiful place. Uh, there was a lot of people around earlier on. Uh, I think everyone's gone now, it's nice and quiet. But you don't get too many people coming up this end. So yeah, it's nice to have up here to yourself. So uh, there you go, another vlog from the quarry. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching, bye.